How can I finish the first lap? Ah, you're really making me work today, aren't you? To finish lab one, here's what you need to do in all its thrilling glory. One, accept the MongoDB invitation sent to your JMU email and log into MongoDB Atlas. Please open your app to see this link. Two, create a new project and name it after yourself because of course the database needs to know your name. Three, build a cluster using the free M0 tier and accept all the default settings. This cluster has a glamorous 512 megabytes limit. Try not to party too hard. Four, create a database user with these credentials. Username, demo, password, IA65JMU. Yes, everyone uses the same ones. Security experts everywhere are probably crying. Five, allow access from anywhere in network access settings. It's bad practice in real life, but welcome to academia. Six, load the sample data set. You'll do this from the database collections section. Seven, download MongoDB Compass from this link. Please open your app to see this link and install it. Eight, copy the connection string from your MongoDB Atlas cluster and use it in Compass to connect. Nine, type your password manually into Compass because naturally it doesn't just autofill anything for you. 10, optional, open the sample Airbnb database and try to find listings in NYC using the schema tool. Submission, just your connection string. That's it, that's the lab. Now, do you need me to actually explain how to copy and paste? Or are we emotionally prepared for that journey?